guys, what's up? It's Hayley. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about these two e.l.f. primers. These are the e.l.f. tone adjusting primers and um, they're six dollars so they're definitely pretty inexpensive and so I wanted to do a review on them and test them out. So I've been doing that for the past couple of weeks and yeah, so let's just jump right into this. I always go the wrong direction. Like, I think it, I have to say jump into this, this direction because that's the way the transition flows. But, I don't know. So I kept the little boxes for these. These are the e.l.f. tone adjusting primers and the what, first one is green and it is the neutralizing green and the second one is purple and it is the brightening lavender. And basically these claim that these are color correcting primers. So this claims to be like a color correcting primer. Color correcting is something that is fairly new to the market and so a bunch of different companies are coming out with different things to kind of color correct with. And this claims to be a multi-purpose primer that preps your skin and fills in fine lines so that makeup goes on evenly for a long lasting matte finish. Ingredients help neutralize redness from rosacea, blemishes, and dry skin. So I understand how the green is supposed to like help with redness, however I was confused because the purple one says the same thing on the packaging that it's supposed to help with redness, well really like green, so the way that color correcting works, if you didn't know I'll have a color wheel here, and whatever color is across from the color wheel like, like is what it's going to help correct. Hopefully that makes sense. Like green. Red is across from the color wheel on green, so it's going to correct red, and then purple is across from yellow, so it should help to correct yellow, so I'm not understanding why they're claiming it's going to help correct red. Whoa, I have swatches all over this hand from doing my makeup, but let's see. So whenever you squirt the primer out, it comes out, oh shoot, that was a lot. Whenever you squirt the primer out, it comes out green. But then as you start to blend it out, the color does kind of diminish and it just kind of, it's a super, super soft primer. I love the way this primer feels, even just on the back of my hand. It's super, super smoothing. I don't have a ton of fine lines because I'm not, like I'm 15. So, but I do have a little bit of a smile line. Everyone has like a smile line whenever they smile. And so I definitely noticed that, that helps like keep everything even right there and then the purple comes out a really cool magenta purple but then as you blend it in once again the color goes away and it's so soft though like this just feels really really nice whenever I put it on my skin and so basically I put this on my skin before I put my foundation on I actually have noticed a difference and this definitely does help correct the redness so I put this kind of more in my t-zone and on my cheeks so that like all my red it helps to, to diminish my redness I'm sorry guys I'm sick right now so I'm like trying not to sound like a man and like sniffly but I know I am and then this is like a purple and so I don't really know exactly what this like I don't think I have any yellow tones on my face that I need to correct but basically I think that this helps correct my under eye circles a little bit because I noticed that whenever I put the primer on my under eye circles it helps to kind of like not make them look so like there which doesn't really make any sense because like it doesn't that's not like what it would color correct that's just something I have personally noticed so overall I would definitely give these two primers a thumbs up they are super super awesome and they're only six dollars so it's basically a steal I like I've been using these like non-stop ever since I've got them just trying to test them out and I've definitely fallen in love with them and they just make my skin feel so soft and I really love the way that they feel and as far as like the matte finish I don't know that it really has a matte finish um, that's what I've noticed I mean I still get like a little bit oily but I mean that's I don't really know why they put that as a claim because their tone adjusting. I would definitely give these two a thumbs up if you are thinking about purchasing these and I would totally recommend it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe down below because I post new videos every weekend. Bye, guys. Ingredients help neutralize. Well, let's start over. <coughs> yeah, that was. I suck at this. Oh, and I'm sitting on my feet. It's hurting so bad. Unless you buy. Oh my God.